welcome to the Orchid Saga. My name is Joachim Wiersma, also known as EJ. So yes, I hope you all are up uh, for a up potting video because my uh, male Miltonia sunset needs a bigger pot. I know it's in bloom and I know it's spiking, but it's also making new roots. So it's a good time uh, to uh, repot it, or actually in this case, up pot it, because it does get a bigger pot. And this is why, as you can see, it's on the edge of the pot and you can see beautiful new roots. Some did stop growing at this moment, but we can still see some green, uh, green tips on there. And also on this side, so yeah, it needs a bigger pot. And uh, yes, I know, it's beautiful. Look at those flowers. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to uh, grab uh, the camera because it's a fairly big one. And I think um, in most cases, that's nice uh, to watch, to see how, uh, how we need to deal with uh, those uh, big uh, orchids. At least I'm going to try uh, my best. I hope I don't break any roots or something like that. We shall see. So uh, let's uh, get this uh, beautiful baby a uh, yeah, bigger pot. <laughs> So yes, and at, f at first I need to get those uh, black pebbles out that I use as a top layer. So I might speed this uh, part up because it might take a while. So uh, let's uh, get rid of that top layer first. So I did uh, grab some pebbles off, not even that much because there are so many roots inside of this pot. So a few pebbles mixed in with the pumice will not uh, affect the wicking effect later on. So that's okay, um, but I tried to get a few out and also I have some um, uh, weeds in here. So let me grab those out quickly. Well, we can. It makes it life a little bit easier because these have seed pots. If I don't take them out, I have seeds everywhere. So those were that. Uh, yeah, big tray. I need to get it out of the pot and into the tray. That's the plan. Let's see how we're going to do. First, I'm going to take it out of the outer pot and see. Well, we have a few roots there. Yeah, quite a few there. I hope they will survive. I'm not sure, but yeah, maybe we need to sacrifice them. It is what it is. It is what it is. It needs to come out anyway. So uh, I'm going to lay it on the side and see if that works. Uh, actually, I'm going to, to top it over so that the media doesn't fall onto the new root tips that we have here. At least that's the plan. And let's uh, see if we can take it out some way or form. I try to grab some older bulbs so I can pull it a little bit. No, it's not much movement yet. Not much at all. Uh, let me see. Let me try again. Don't want to pull too hard. Yeah. Is some movement coming, I believe? No, <laughs> not much. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Yeah, look at that. Oh my, oh my, what a root system. Yeah, I thought that I might, uh, might expect something like this because it's grown so well. But yeah, it's beautiful. Look at that. One clump of roots. Amazing, absolutely amazing. And those roots are still there. Can you see them? Those were out of the pot, hanging out of the pot. And they did ma make it. Yes, beautiful, beautiful. So I, uh, that's the beauty of uh, organic media, inorganic media, I'm sorry. I don't have to mess with the roots. Big, big plus. I can leave it as it is. I just grab a bigger pot, some new pumice, some new media, and that, that's basically it. So uh, I'm going to uh, grab that pot and I will see you in a bit. Yes, here we are. So this is some left leftover media. So I did uh, boil it, clean it, so I did uh, 
obtain some other parts but I can reuse it I'm not completely sure if it's enough but we will shall see I have more new pumice here's the new pot look at this quite quite uh, a bit bigger let me grab the old pots so we have a little bit of an idea how much bigger here we go uh, there we are you see so we have some room to grow on this plant I hope at least for two years that is it okay now we need to position it as nicely in the pot as we can so that it has the most room to grow on let's grab this beast here we go put it in that pot it's a bit lower is it too low uh, yes so I'm gonna get it out for just a second it's a little bit too low let's put a layer of pumice in first sorry for the noise uh, little bit this should do I think whoops Let we go again yes I think this is it yeah this is beautiful nice level I think you can see it there's no more space I'm sorry I try my best filming this um, yeah one two years I'm sorry one two years of uh, growth that should be doable so I'm going to reuse the media that's fallen off just gonna dump it in here in the back so mainly it's uh, the big pumice little uh, few pieces of small pumice in there you can see it's mainly big pumice and some pebbles a few is not the end of the world it will not in uh, have its a huge effect on the wicking uh, ability of the pumice so here we go let's fill up that pot again sorry for the noise yeah it needs to be done of course so I need more media obviously and I have some ready let's put everything in there and this is the new media this is how it looks when it comes straight out of the bag here it is beautiful isn't it I love it look at it <laughs> such beautiful stuff and as we just saw the plants love it too that's the most important thing of course <laughs> uh, let me turn it around a little bit yes I will do a close-up of course in the end of this video because I see more new growth and I thought on this one actually so yeah I'm happy I'm repotting it now so all those new growths well, <coughs> sorry again it will uh, have um, room to grow of course but what are roots yeah I'm so happy with this well this should do I think so let's put that to the side and now I need a few more pebbles I had some left, not that much as you can see from the previous setup. So this is a close-up of the pebbles that I like to use. There we go. I love pebbles. <laughs> they look so beautiful. And you know when they dry they're really gray grayish, but they turn black when they are wet. It's a beautiful way to check if your uh, pumice your media is still wicking these stay uh, to the on a black side if they are wet damp so that's beautiful I didn't know that when I bought it but I noticed it when I started using it and I thought that's a uh, nice bonus actually 
There we go. Ah, I missed the spots. Just a little bit. There. And in the back as well. Just a few here. There we go. This should do it, I believe. Yeah. I mean, such a big plant and a fairly quick repot just because I grow them in inorganic media in pumice. I don't have to mess with the roots. It's perfect, you guys. I keep saying it, but it's perfect. Okay, let's uh, do a uh, close up of this beauty. So, and here she is on the table. These are uh, going over already, but such a very nice bright variety there are different varieties or uh, color wise but this one uh, I, I picked it because of a uh, I love the strong colors on it very nice contrast but anyhow <laughs> here she is look at that you see beautiful new grow uh, roots more new roots and we have way more room now I think two years maybe three years who knows but I spotted uh, a new growth here so that's not this year's growth, but last year's growth decided to put out another one. Here is another one coming. So two new growths already on this side. Uh, let me quickly check yet yeah, two so far, I believe. Let me turn it around a little bit. But well, this is still blooming, but it should make a new growth as well. So that should be three. And we have one up in here, this bulb there. And another one here those are uh, not yeah actually they, those are in bud still you can see so not thinking of making new growths yet but they will come i'm pretty sure they will come so yeah we have more room for these beauties and so far i think i didn't break anyone actually that's good that is good well look at this speaking of new growths in there I'm not completely sure. I believe this is also an older bulb that's starting making new growth. I see this quite a lot on my Miltonias when they are really happy and getting bigger and bigger that the previous one and sometimes even two years back those bulbs starting making new growths again. So that's beautiful. That makes a uh, very large plant in the new near future. Can you imagine a bush with these blooms? <laughs> a bouquet of blooms? Yeah, that's, uh, that's going to be good. I'm happy with this, you guys. I'm really, really, really happy with this. So I put it back on the shelf and I just noticed that it's, this is the tag and I like to uh, put the repotting dates. The last time I did repot it was September 23. So just over a year update. So that's a massive root system for uh, such a fairly short time. Let's put a tag back in over there and we had just a little teeny tiny kissel tea i did break this flower off i noticed uh, when i did uh, put it in here into the greenhouse again i noticed this flower on the table so yeah it's missing ear from this spike but overall i think yeah i think all the buds are still there so yeah it's not major but yeah a sad little bloom that fell off <laughs> beautiful beautiful i now i'm uh, going to water it as you can see it's still gray so i uh, didn't give it a water yet but i will do it that now and uh, but i will do that off camera it's not that uh, important i think <laughs> anyhow uh, yeah i hope you enjoyed this repot i personally did i wasn't completely sure what to expect even though the plant looks uh, very beautiful so i, I did uh, thought that at least had quite a nice root system but this one was very big to be honest so yeah thank you uh, so much for watching as usual if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section below and uh, of course if you like this video please give it a thumbs up maybe you want to share it somewhere sharing helps a lot and of course subscribing if you didn't already have thank you so much and i hope to see you at one of my next videos so bye bye <laughs>